Divinity, Mr. Arunav Kumar. And the surprise is, we are batchmates. Hi, Arunav. So you, we are really spoiled for choices. 
and all of us begin making choices when we clear that toughest examination in the country and uh, then we are given a rank and then we are told to choose some subject. So that's a moment that I clearly remember because you really uh, have no idea. So if you are good in electromagnetism, you choose electrical. Most of your parents tell you to choose computer science because that guarantees you a job. Uh, somebody is scared to take mechanical because his rotational dynamics was very weak. And somebody doesn't want to study chemical because his chemistry was very weak. So these are the very vague and superficial fundas that we, even the top rankers, I knew rank people who were in AIR 1, AIR 100 and these guys, even they didn't know all about what is happening in what. So uh, I thought ki, okay, there's electrical, so and uh, then there is Haradpur who was giving free computers to all the people who were coming in first year. So that sort of became another factor in choosing this college. But okay, I'll get a free computer now. And uh, I chose KGP electrical five-year course. And uh, the day I come here, I come to know that uh, electrical is not the same electrical which is there in all the other colleges in IIT. So that was my first revelation. So that was my first brush with how you have, you think you have all the information, but you don't have any information at all. So I knew people in my seniors who had around 130 rank, 114 rank, and they chose electrical because they didn't bother to find out what is the difference in electrical in Kharagpur or electrical in Delhi or electronics in Kharagpur. So that sort of became a very, very important incident in my life. And uh, since then, I became very anal about finding things out. It might be a bad thing, it might be a good thing, I don't know. So on the fourth day, basically when I ran, my parents were like, they opened the door, they saw me, they were like, Are you, can't tell you what, what happened? So I said, no, I'm not going to that college, I find it boring, this, that. So they said, my parents were like, they said, what to do now? So they gave me a lot of cash. So they gave me 25,000 rupees cash. And then they said, take this money and go. And you can have, eat as much as chocolates that you want, buy a cycle with the gear. Here the cycle palace said, Mommy, you have a child. So, they said, I'm going to And so, this sort of became my background. I have the money. So, let's go back. Then, then started the choices of you know, what I want to do with my life. So, in the first semester, I wanted to do economics from LSE. In the second, I wanted to do MBA. Third semester, I wanted to do UPSC. <laughs> Do computers. Sixth semester is when I think uh, I was the governor of ETDS Dramatic Society. People from there, ETDS English Technology Dramatic Society. People from HTDS. Oh yeah. The HTDS offer was that I think this is one decision again I should be considered. So. Then I had gone to, uh, so this this used to happen. So, eighth semester, I was like, okay, you know, I want to do LSE, it's London School of Economics. I'll, I used to go to Central Library, they had a management section. So, I used to read all these half business reviews and I read all these books. Didn't get anything out of that. I just used to read, look at them, feel good that I'm doing something with my life. <laughs> Sit in that area of Central Library where maximum girls come to study. <laughs> and I used to hold my books like this so that people would think, I'm yeah, intellectual. <laughs> And the day the prospectors landed, I lost interest in LSE. <laughs> I said, yeah, I don't think I'm going to go for so I'll go for MBA. So all these four three people they used to be preparing for times or oh, career launcher. What is a career launcher? <laughs> <laughs>
तो मैंने बोला कितने साल से किया कितने टाइम से बोला छः महीने सात महीने ट्राई किया फोन सो वॉट यू लर्न नाउ तो बोला नहीं मैंने छोड़ दिया बोला क्यों तो बोला अरे गर्लफ्रेंड बन गई हिंदी बोलने वाले और हिंदी सोसाइटी बहुत अच्छी थी तो शायद इसीलिए Again, uh, thinking that I will be able to do UPSC. <laughs> Fourth semester was guitar, and the fifth and sixth and fifth semester was coding. So, and I was so bad in coding. So I was trying to write a program which was a binary number to write to display it as a binary number. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what happens is, if you install that matrix theme computer into Linux on your system, you start feeling like a coder. <laughs> Put that black and green numbers are falling, and you feel like oh fuck, I'm going to be a coder. <laughs> <laughs> these are these are my distractions. Uh, fifth, fifth semester, sixth semester came when I was a I was a governor of dramatic society. We had the first ever pratyancha, which is known as Carpedium now in IIM Calcutta. So that was the first edition, and I went from my college. Two teams had gone. I took a little bit of initiative. I said, no, we should go. We never had this tradition of going abroad to different colleges and doing theatres. We went there, we presented two speak plays. We won our college, I think, won most of the award, almost every one of them. So when I came back, then I started thinking that you know uh, maybe this is something that that interests me. So here was a big difference. So the, this this was a phase in my life where I thought that this is an area where I might be interested. Now, unlike the first seven careers which I thought of. Choosing in my first four semester, I used to be very fast with them. So I used to start going into the CL, pretending to read or downloading Linux, this, that, that. But when it came to this, I was very, very slow. So I kept on thinking about it for a couple of months. Uh, then uh, there's another very crucial moment that I remember, uh, which happened to me third year summers. So again, another bizarre rule which I don't understand about uh, KGB is. We are not given books in the summer, summer vacations. So most of us, I think, I don't know. I mean, in my school, I was always taught that since summer holidays is when you will have free time. So that's the time you should take books from the library. Uh, out here, we don't have. Maybe it's because we students are so bad and careless with books that we lose them. So that might be another reason behind it. Uh, but there is a. Uh, we were just talking uh, with Ashok sir about the bureaucracy. So this was my first brush with bureaucracy in this college. So we had, I had to take six signatures to get books from Central Library. So I had hunted the entire library and found out five, six cinema books which were there. And uh, I took it to them. First information was given to me that okay, you can't issue books in the summers. I said fine, tell me the procedure. So they said okay, you will need six signatures right from your faculty till your till dean of student affairs, and maybe in special cases when they get lost. So. Uh, But I was I was sort of motivated, and uh, I don't know why. But there was I, like unlike in economics thing, the moment I got the prospectus, I lost it. So this process was also very tumultuous. I had to run around in the campus for three days to get the signature, but still I thought okay, I'll do it. So I got the first signature, then the second, then the third, then the fourth. Then the time to get a signature from the uh, from the department came. So I had this application, and I went to one of the gentlemen from my department. What? Not of course, not on a name or what even do anything like that. Uh, so I went with the letter and I said, "Sir, uh, I was I was smart enough to tweak it. So I knew that there might be some problems. So I said, 'Sir, I'm trying to make a control system of cameras. <laughs> I'm trying to understand cinema and cinematic language. And uh, sir, uh, my control system is a little bit weak. Uh, so I already have bought the books of control system, but these are the books that I need to take from the library." So, but the professors are professors. They look through you, you know. <laughs> so I said, don't lie. So I said, okay, fine. Uh, so what are these books? These books are from cinema. What are you going to do? You, if you have issue books, issue books of control systems. I'll give you five more books of control systems. <laughs> so I don't want the control systems. I already have 
have got them. He said, go and bring it from the hostel. <laughs> Like, I couldn't think of life and I said, sir, uh, I'll go. So I went, I bought from 800 Shabuk. And then came, then he said, okay, listen, this can't happen. Uh, he tore my letter in uh, three pieces. And I have those three pieces laminated with my trunk all the time I have. So I keep those three torn letter pieces everywhere I go in my life. Because that was the first really, really harsh, you know, this is a small innocent kid who is looking up, wants to do something. And then there comes this draconian authority and you know, tears go and his eyes to pieces, literally. So I still have that and I'm never going to throw those three pieces which were torn by one of the professors here. And who said, you know, if you have to study something, you have to study only your department. This was again a very, very tough thing, unlike the other seven careers. But still I carried on. And uh, I took to internet, which was the first time I was opening any other site than youtube.com or facebook.com. Or you know there are other sites. I don't think you guys know that. How many sites do you guys open in a day? I think YouTube.com, Facebook.com and Gmail.com ke alawa bhi website hain. Mein pata hai nahi. So, so there's this popular site called IMDB and I started learning, figuring things out. Know what to do, what not to do. It took me around two years. The entire half of third year, fourth year, and fifth year. So I got interested in something and I gave it two and a half years of preparation. And even then, I was not decided whether I'll do it or not. So I took up a job in uh, Bombay, in uh, uh, IIT Bombay, in US Air Force Research Consultancy Project. And I went there so that I could first experience Bombay and then I could take the plunge. So, uh, all I want to point out is that when I was actually interested in something, I was being very, very patient about it. And I was trying to uh, hunt more and more information and do a little bit more research on that. Which was not the case when I was just trying to drift through the numerous careers that I wanted to do. Uh, of course, there were times, you know, when you used to feel bad about the female ratio, about the food, about not having a mall in KGB. So these were the things which always used to be on our mind, I'm sure. No, by the way, you guys, how many of you are preparing for CAT? Intend to prepare for CAT. You guys should go to IM Koi code. They have 54 percent female ratio. <laughs> so out of 100, there are 54 girls and 46 boys. So if you eight lucky people, you will have two So, uh, so uh, so these are the things which used to play in your mind. But uh, the main thing being that we never hunt for information. So when we want to do something, when we like doing something. Uh, we are very, very passive about it. I uh, had gone to this uh, another college, NIT Trichy. I was visiting the hostels. So, I had a to-do list. I had put a to-do list on the wall. So, to-do list was the first plan for the next semester. Second, tha, think about the two things that you want to do. Third, kush tha, uh, figure out the way to make the best CV. And I said, like, boss, this is a to-do thing list or a to-plan list. So, I don't have to do So, you know, and in fact, if you guys go down, so when you make a to-do list, it's supposed to be actionable, things you will be doing, not things you will be planning on, things you will be thinking on. So, we don't really do that, which has been really a pain for me. When I went out from Kharagpur, uh, then I, again, uh, okay, here's a, another scoop. So, after, I was not interested in the MATLAB coding that I was doing a part of US Air Force. So, but I was uh, under a very good professor. I was learning a lot of things. I was learning the back end of how the VFX, visual effects in movies happen. This was again something which I had to discover on my own where I came to know that there is a lot of engineering, there is a lot of computation and there is a lot of mechanical, electronics, electrical and computer engineering behind every visual effects that you see in the movies. Now this is a very, very simple fact but for a guy from IIT, from electrical, it, he had to learn it after he passed out of college. So this is the kind of, this is the level of menial information we guys have about our careers, our interest in our life, which is very, very bad, which is exactly pathetic. So uh, I went to Bombay and I was trying to get a job as an assistant director. So I was thrown out of 
यशराज को तो चौकीदार नहीं वापस भेज दिया देन आई वेंट टू सुभाष गई प्रोडक्शन वहाँ पे वहाँ लगी नहीं यार वहाँ पे कोई वैकेंसी नहीं है देन आई वेंट टू नाइट चीनी वहाँ पर रिसेप्शनिस्ट ने वापस भेज दिया कि यार ऐसे कैसे हो गया हाउ विल डू दिस सो आई स्टार्टेड अ सोसाइटी कॉल आर्ट एंड आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस माई फ्रेंड्स वन ऑफ माई फ्रेंड वॉज इन यू सी एल एंग एम एस आई मेड यू द अमेरिकन कंट्री हेड ऑफ दैट सोसाइटी I made in the European head of the. <laughs> I had a junior in KGB. I made in the uh, KGB local uh, body admin something, and I made in the Asian head of the society. <laughs> and I wrote a letter. Uh, now, these are small learnings. How a professionally put thing really goes a long way. तो आई गॉट अ बॉन्ड पेपर पतला वाला पेपर भी नहीं लिया बॉन्ड पेपर पे अच्छे से टाइप करके आई नोट द लेटर आई नोट एन एन एक्शन टू द लेटर विच हैड थ्री पॉइंट एजेंडा ऑफ स्टडी इंडियन सिनेमा फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी आर्ट एंड बिजनेस एंड आई सेड माई फ्रेंड्स माई कंटेम्प्रेरीज आर स्टडिंग इट इन यूरोपियन सिनेमा माई फ्रेंड अली के स्टडिंग इट इन अमेरिकन सिनेमा एंड आई हैव बिन इंटरेस्टेड द जॉब टू डू दैट इन इंडियन सिनेमा एंड देन आई रोट फिफ्टीन लेटर्स आई पुट दैम इन वेरी एक्सपेंसिव लिफाफा and i put that seal also the mom khareed ke laya hua aise aise with some organization stamp and everything and then in the letter i wrote to all these production houses that you have been chosen by our <laughs>
बड़े बड़े चेक्स हैं जो कि फिल्म फेस्टिवल्स और इन सब में मिले थे और आज तक दे नॉट ऑल कम टू मी सो दीज आर द स्मॉल थिंग्स यू हैव टू स्पेंड एट लीस्ट फोर टू फाइव इयर्स एंड डू वन ग्रेजुएशन इन द रियल वर्ल्ड आउटसाइड द वॉल ऑल्सो टू फिगर आउट वॉट हैपन्स दैन बट आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू क्रिएट सर्टन शोज फॉर एम टी वी यू ऑल वॉच बिग बैंड थ्री एवरी वन यू गैज वॉच फ्रेंड्स यू गैज वॉच साइन फील्ड सो दिस इज द बैकग्राउंड विच आई हैड टू वी ऑल लव दिस काइंड ऑफ शोज I wanted to make them for Indian television. I wanted to create that. So I used to talk to these. Uh, uh, there was a huge table in MTV, and there were like some five gentlemen sitting, all of them in their mid forties, fifties, couple of youngsters who had must have muttered their way up. And uh, I used to tell them, you know, see, I want to make this show called Genius Diary, and this is going to be a little bit intelligent and this that. Is it intelligent? Our audiences are dumb. How can you be intelligent? Sir? the enthusiasm with which they were defending and telling me that our country is dumb was just marvelous so they were really out to prove that how dumb we are you know they they took it personally and how can you expect our audience to be intelligent they are dumb what are you saying are you coming from the other world i was like what are you saying i don't know what to say but i feel fine so they dumb down my show uh, i spent around 8 months of my life trying to make the worst show ever They had gotten some biggest of the guys, and all the guys who produces Big Boss, one of the biggest shows in the country. So they were brought on board. MTV was there, and me and my group of crewies from a couple of guys from IIT Bombay, a couple of guys who senior based on these are from IIT Kharagpur. So we were all stuck in a corner. We were trying to work our way out. And uh, what happened after eight months of hard work was we made a very very atrocious bad show. Never. It got rejected. Then. Uh, I wrote uh, then the guy from MTV called and he said, you know, I we are, I I thought that you know I should a little I should be a little bit more assertive and not let them handle the way they are doing it. But when you are young, when you go out, you know your peers tell you people who have had 20 years of experience, they tell you, no, this is wrong. You know you have to do it like this. Then you get to you get to you get swayed away. I said, okay, fine. Maybe nobody knows what is in my best interest. And uh, it was not in the best interest. They were just fence setters who were saving their job. They didn't have balls to take any decisions. so and i went along with them but i think that was the best learning part of my life then i conceived a small show called college kidiyapa so kidiyapa uh, that the word comes from my you know this is something which i have observed in my life that there is certain beauty about all the insanities that is there in india so have you all the guys who traveled in the air planes uh, the moment the, there is a touchdown you will hear at least five bottles go off in india सबके सब में बगल खोल एवरी वन इज इन सच अ रश टू गेट आउट ऑफ द प्लेन इफ यू स्टैंड एट ट्रैफिक सिग्नल एवरी वन इज रशिंग इन इंडिया एवरी वन इज ट्राइंग टू कट देर वे आउट डू अ बाई पास ओवर टेक सम वन वॉक फॉर्स दिस इज वॉट इज देर इन आई हैव सीन त्रिची आई हैव सीन जम्मू आई हैव सीन कैलकटा सिलचर एंड आई हैव सीन अहमदाबाद एंड सिल्चर सो दिस हैपन्स एवरीवेयर एवरीबडी एवरी वेरी इन इंडिया इज इन अ रश इज इन अ हरी वॉट इज द फ्लिप साइड We are all always late. We are the most unpunctual country in the world. We never come come to class on time. We never go to meetings on time. We are always late. We never reach on time. But ironically, we are always running. We are always in a hurry. What is what is this? So these are the small things that used to make me wonder. Yeah, ये क्या हो रहा है? हम लोग सब इतनी जल्दबाजी में बट हमेशा late पहुँचते हैं. हम लोग सब इतनी गप्पे करते हैं बट काम कुछ नहीं होता है. हम लोग सब इतनी बंदियों की बातें करते हैं बंदियां किसी नहीं पड़ती सो यू नो इंसेप्शन ऑफ द वर्ड क्योंकि स्मॉल शो फॉर एम टीवी एंड एम टीवी रिजेक्टेड दैट शो ऑल्सो आई थिंक दैट वॉज द बेस्ट रिजेक्शन इन माई लाइफ बिकॉज इफ दैट वुड हैपन गिवन द मोस्ट पॉपुलर ब्रांड टूडे इन यूथ एंटरटेनमेंट फॉर सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड बक्स टू एम टीवी सो अनदर लेसन इन माई लाइफ some of your rejections are going to be the best things in your life so you have to cherish them these are the things if you believe in your shit your shit will turn to gold the show got rejected youtube was coming up i was frustrated all these three four things led me to find out a, a way so that i could create things on my own and not really be a slave to some 50 year old guy telling me what needs to be done this is a decision that i took it was not a business driven decision it was completely foolish emotional and out of frustration taken decision i didn't 
I had I used to make very less money from all the corporate films that I used to do. I had to support a team of four people, but I still went ahead and did this just to prove these guys wrong that no Indian audience is not that waveproof. People who are sitting in this room, they will like the intelligent shows that we make. It is not that they will detest. It. That was the only inception. So the, all the rejections that I had in my five years trying to create content on my own led me to find people. And then we launched all these on 21st Feb 2012. And as you say, I was, uh, rest is history. You guys have seen most of the work. And today, DBF happens to be the second biggest new media network in the country. And uh, that's all I need. Mean. One thing today, like, okay, uh, I'll just ask a small question. So, uh, just ambitious, mazak me, or the kabi kabi din me khayal aata hai ek baar. Who or want to change this country for the better? Please raise your hand. Okay, keep your hands raised. Keep your hands raised. Out of these guys, who one of you think even once before spitting on the road? Put your hand down. Are you all liars? Who thinks we were spitting on the road? Don't don't raise your hand. Have you guys spitted on the road? None of you have spitted. On, only five people have spit on the road. Be true to yourself, yeah. So see, these are the things. All I want to tell you guys today is take things in your own hand. When we speak of, you know, we have four rules in our office when it comes to changing the nation. Since you know there are certain some of these topics are going to be discussed today. So we have only four rules in our office when it comes to changing the nation. Don't let us. Don't spit on the road. Reach on time and never break a queue. So if if 10 million of people who we are, who we genius, we progressive young people, we start following these four rules, imagine the kind of change that will come to this country. कितना कचरा रोड पे कम हो जाए. So you don't have to really do uh, be that crowd which goes to in front of an office and start shouting. हमें ये चाहिए, हमें वो चाहिए, हमें ये दे दो, हमें वो दे दो. वो गया जमाना है नाउ यू गाइज हैव द पार नाउ यू गाइज हैव द एनर्जी टू डू थिंग्स ऑन यूर ओन डोंट वेट फॉर सफ टू हैपन गो आउट डू इट ऑन यूर ओन फिगर आउट हाउ यू डू दोज थिंग्स नेवर रिली वेट फॉर थिंग्स टू हैपन हाफ ऑफ यू गाइज मस्ट नॉट इवन बी ट्राइंग टू गेट अ गर्ल फ्रेंड जस्ट क्रिविंग अबाउट इट सिटिंग इन असीम और अ कैंटीन क्या है बंदी नहीं है बंदी नहीं है उन कितने जाते हो कितने लोग लाइन बनाते दिन में इंश्योर करते हो कि कैसे डर जाए वहां पर लड़कियों को इंटरेस्ट है नहीं करते हो कैसे मिले So that is the thing. Yeah, you have to think because you have to. All I have to say, and it, it's, it's, it's completely translatable in every sphere of your life. You want to, you want to get a job. You want to change the world. You want to start an NGO. You want to be a coder. You want to be an astronaut. You want to be a filmmaker. You want to be an actor. You want to do anything that you want to do. You just have to start doing. वो जो टू डू लिस्ट है उसमें थिंक और प्लान मत करो उसमें वो व्हाट क्या करना है वो चालू करो मेक दो फिगर आउट व्हाट यू कैन डू ऑन योर ओन एंड ट्रस्ट मी द काइंड ऑफ कैंपस दैट वी आर सेटिंग इन ट्रस्ट मी द काइंड ऑफ इंटरलाइक दैट यू गाइज हैव इफ यू गाइज रियली पुट योर हार्ट एंड टू इट पुट योर हार्ट एंड टू रियली इन जॉइंग द प्रोसेस यू विल मैनेज टू दैट आई विल ट्राई टू फिनिश दिस थिंग विद समथिंग विच आई यूज टू ऑलवेज थिंक यार यार ये सब क्या बकर है यार ये सब क्या फंडे देते रहते हैं मेरे पिताजी बोलते थे कि अरे गीता पढ़ो बेटा गीता गीता में लिखा हुआ है कर्मन देवासी का रस्ते माँ फल इसको करा चलो यू नो आई यूज लाइक यू गाइस पीछे बैठ के बोलिए क्या बोल रहे हैं क्या बोल रहा है फंडे दे रहा है यहाँ पे आगे अपनी फ्रस्ट्रेशन निकाल रहा है स्टेज बट स्लो मीन्स दैट यू शुड नॉट बॉदर अबाउट रिजल्ट यू शुड कीप ऑन वॉकिंग एंड एंजॉइंग द आई हैव फिगर्ड आउट इन द स्मॉल टाइनी सिक्स ईयर्स ऑफ माई एक्सपीरियंस आउटसाइड द स्मॉल It's the best and most pragmatic and practical way to live life happily. If you are process oriented, you are gonna get there. If you have a clarity of a goal, what exactly you want to do, even if it is as ridiculous as a porn star, you will figure it out and you will do it. So just be that, be a process oriented and not result oriented, and you will figure your life out and you have the best life.
we got from a very young alumnus. We saw what his journey has been so far. Thank you for sharing that with us. His journey has been one of uh, a very random kind at the beginning where he has been making choices. Uh, every semester has been changing and finally he reaches his destination. It's okay to be confused, but finally when you have a, have a goal in life, whether you go straight or you go roundabout, finally you reach it.